How's it going everyone? Brother Sam here. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, emulate the PS5 system on your Windows PC by using the RPCSX emulator, which is a PS4 emulator as well as a PS5 emulator. So for Windows, we have to do this through WSL for now, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. So this is the only way on Windows for now, but if you have a native uh, Linux machine, you can do that on it as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you have to do is go to the RPCSX uh, wiki page here, and you can take a look at the uh, tutorial and the method to uh, get this running on uh, WSL. So basically you need to uh, run this one line of uh, command and then it will run the bash script and it will install all of the uh, prerequisites for you as well as build the RPCSX emulator. But for me, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna install the uh, prerequisites and set up the uh, WSL, and then I'm gonna be using the uh, binary here from the uh, RPCSX uh, GitHub page. So I'm gonna be using this build here, which is the uh, latest build of uh, RPCSX. Also, uh, if you want to see what this script does, you can just go ahead and open it. Just open this link and you can see what it does here. So first of all, it's going to install the uh, prerequisites for you and then it's going to build the uh, emulator. So you can go ahead and do this step by step, which is like uh, easier for troubleshooting uh, issues. So you can do it step by step or you can just use this line of command. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So uh, we need to install WSL or enable it, whichever you call it. And to do this, uh, you need to run PowerShell as administrator and then copy the first command, WSL install, paste it in PowerShell and hit enter. And if you face this issue here that says system cannot find the path specified, just go to the GitHub page of WSL and download the uh, latest stable release. Download the installer and then just install it. And after you, you are done installing this, go back to uh, PowerShell and uh, do the step again and it will be installed. Now, once it's done uh, installing and enabling uh, WSL for you, it will start downloading and installing Ubuntu, which is the 2404 release. This might take some time, so just give it some time. And once it's done, you have to uh, restart the computer. Once the uh, computer uh, has restarted, go ahead and launch Ubuntu. And now you need to set it up by setting a username and now set a password and then confirm the password and hit enter. As you can see, the installation has completed successfully. So now you have Ubuntu installed uh, on WSL. I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, the first command, this one right here. So I'm going to do this one by one just for easy troubleshooting in case one of these uh, dependencies does not install there's going to be a way to fix it so i'm just going to do it one by one for now i'm going to start with the first line this one right here and we're going to hit enter type the password and it should start soon this should not take long All right, once this is done, we have to type uh, sudo up update. All right, it's done. Now let's go ahead and type the second one. This is the second line. Copy and paste and hit enter and let it install some packages for you and we will continue when it's done seems like everything went fine with that one 
Now I'm going to move to the uh, Vulcan extension layer, this one right here. So for you, you might want to build the emulator by yourself so you can use this and then use this. But for me, I'm going to be using the uh, binary from the GitHub page. So I'm just going to I'm just going to install the Vulkan extension layer and I'm not going to be doing the section where I built the uh, emulator. So I'm just going to go copy this. Okay, I'm going to clear this. Sometimes it just shows like this. I have to clear it. Okay, paste, and we're going to clone the Vulkan extension layer. All right. Change the directory to Vulkan extension layer. Now CMake. Okay, now this part here for me, it takes a bit long and after that, it will be uh, smooth. So if you if you have a, a CPU with AVX, uh, you might not be able to run the uh, binary from the GitHub page because it was built with AVX2 CPU. So uh, if you want to build your own uh, emulator, you might be able to do that with AVX. I, I've read that the AVX support has been added or something like that. So you might want to try building it by yourself. But for me, I'm not building because I'm facing a lot of errors and issues and it's taking so long. So uh, also, if you have a computer with low uh, memory, make sure that you go to the uh, to the WSL settings on your computer and then increase the memory uh, to to make uh, WSL, to make the compiling go smoothly. So if you have like an eight gigabyte machine, make sure that you uh, go and uh, increase the memory. Uh, for you, uh, for the installation of WSL by default, it will take half of your computer. So if your computer is eight gigabyte, the WSL will be four gigabyte, which is, kind of like not enough for compiling the emulator. So make sure that you also increase your paging file when you do this and close any applications that are open. So now it's starting to build Vulkan headers and it should be done in a moment. You can also uh, test the uh, graphics uh, drivers inside this uh, terminal by typing uh, VK cube. And uh, if you don't have Vulkan tools installed, it will prompt you to install Vulkan tools. Uh, and then you can use VK cube. So you can see that the drivers are installed. All right, it's done. Now we need to build all green. That's good. It is done now for the last part. And it's done. So we are done with setting up the uh, environment to run RPCSX on uh, Windows. What you need to do now is go to the GitHub page and download the uh, latest binary of RPCSX. And then you need the PS5 decrypted firmware, which by the way, is not this one right here. This will not work if you download this and then unpack it. It's not gonna work. So what you need is a uh, a hacked PS5 dump from the hard drive. If you know someone who has a hacked PS5, if you know where to ask for it, you can find it. But for obvious reasons, I cannot share the link to it in this uh, video. So you will have to find it. Once you have the PS5 firmware, it will look like this. There are uh, elf files, there's mini score and safe mode. Make sure that those files are there. Also, you will have system folder and system X folder. And of course, we go back here to RPCSX folder and there you should have the uh, binary of RPCSX. Now to test the emulator, make sure that you uh, hold down the shift key and then right click and go to uh, open Linux shell here. 
and click on that. Now you will type dot slash forward rpcsx and then dash dash gpu one. So this part here, if you have a computer with two GPUs and for some reason one of them cannot run the emulator, you have to select the GPU by using this command. So when you run the emulator for the first time, it will run on the uh, GPU number uh, zero, the first GPU. So you have to choose the GPU that can actually run the emulator. So this is a very important step for people who are testing this on a, a computer with two GPUs. So after the GPU command, what you have to type is the firmware, which is dash dash FW, and then you type dot slash forward, and then the name of your firmware's folder and press enter. Now you should see the emulator boot in a second. There you have it. Uh, RPCSX window will open and then the uh, PlayStation logo will appear. So for this section here, this is the end of this test. This test right here, it does not go further than the and then this screen. This is the normal boot mode test. So this is normal booting. And now we will test the uh, safe mode booting. To test the PS5's safe mode, uh, you simply need to use the same command by pressing the arrow up key and then you should add dash dash safe mode and hit enter and you should see the uh, RPCSX emulator window opens and then you will see this uh, note saying connect the controller using the USB cable. The uh, PS button on the keyboard is the escape button on the keyboard. So press the escape button on the keyboard and you should get past this screen. And then you can navigate through this uh, safe mode menu of the PS5. Of course, none of these options will work for now. This is just the menu and it's not the full PlayStation 5 system emulated yet, but you can play PS4 games with this uh, emulator. So let's just go ahead and uh, try to boot a PS4 game with the PS5's firmware. To boot a PS4 game with the PS5 uh, system firmware, you need to uh, extract the game to a folder and then put that folder in the same location as the RPCSX binary and the firmware for uh, ease of use. Once you do that, you go ahead and use the same command, but this time you need to remove the safe mode and then type dash slash forward and the name of the folder where you extracted the game and simply press enter and now you should see memory initialization and the game will boot so what we have here now is a ps4 game running on the ps5 system firmware on windows uh, through wsl and you can test other games to see if they work you can also test some samples if you have the ps5 uh, SDK, the pre-compiled uh, ELF samples. So uh, that's it. That's the uh, end of this video. That's the end of this tutorial. If you uh, found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more emulation news. And that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care. See you.